At Kashmir, we decided to be involved in the pilot, put our hand up to trial. It was an opportunity to sort of get a head start on those changes that are coming, so we wanted to be involved. So numeracy to me is the ability for students or anyone really to be able to interweave together process and content ideas from mathematics and statistics in a meaningful way that allows them to thrive later on in life. And you might need to pull some algebra in there to prove that. Numeracy for us it means that our students are given the tools to function in the real world, be critical and engaged and work their money and do all the things that life involves. We don't want them to be held back because they lack those skills. We want them to thrive um, in that real world. One of the most useful numeracy skills that we've learnt this year has been statistics. For instance, in the news a lot, there's a lot of graphs with COVID around. Also in other subjects like science or social studies, it's been really handy. I want you to be able to write an algebraic rule. This year for numeracy, we've been looking at some trigonometry, some stats, some algebra because a lot of jobs do need maths. Students before were able to gain numeracy, perhaps only being really confident in a few areas of numeracy, and so they would miss certain parts of that, but still go off with that tick in the numeracy box, which perhaps didn't really truly reflect how ready they were for the big wide world afterwards. So the changes for the numeracy for us give a real indication that students will cope with life. It's that foundational level where they're going to be prepared. And so this feels like it's really open, it's really clear, everyone will understand what that benchmark is. In my context, um, we like to make it a little bit more applicable to their everyday lives. And I like to be able to link it to other things that they're doing around the school. So other curriculum areas or perhaps to their extracurricular activities as well. I use it a lot in music and that would be finding the tempo of things or time signatures or note lengths. You've got a chance to introduce your students to something a little bit earlier with a lot less risk perhaps involved otherwise. Um, make sure that you keep a really open mind about it, make sure that you're positive about it. It's not necessarily going to be a whole lot more work, it might just be about adapting the way that you do things.